Hi guys and welcome to Rugby for Days. Uh, today we're chatting a bit about uh, Six Nations, what's coming up and what's going to happen. It's less than 80 days away. And then please stay tuned for the end of this video for we have a surprise for you guys. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at this teams, take a look at the previous Grand Slams and Triple Crowns. We'll explain what it is and what yes. it is. And then we're going to make our predictions 80 days ahead of time so you cannot hold it against us that we change our pick at the last minute. <laughs> so yeah, uh, right into that, I'm quickly going to explain what Triple Crown is, then I'll give out just a fun day with these predictions. Awesome. So Triple Crown is where Scotland, Ireland, Wales and England play. And if, let's say, let's say Wales beat England, Scotland and Ireland, they win the Triple Crown. Yes. And then obviously if a team wins the Triple Crown and beat France and Italy, then, and then they win the Grand Slam, which is winning all five of your six, six Nations games. Mm. So with that, I'm giving out this final with this prediction, what do you think is going to happen? Awesome. Thanks, Daniel. So I think this is going to be a very interesting uh, Six Nation tournament. Uh, you know, after seeing England performing so well in the World Cup, we have to bring that up again because they did very well against New Zealand. Yes. And uh, unfortunately, couldn't couldn't bag it in the final, but still play a very good tournament. I think yep. they played very well. Uh, had a shaky start in the beginning. I don't think they performed yep. at their best, but we saw the peak in the semis, yep. which was sure. amazing. Uh, so I think they're going to be uh, a team to watch out. But the statement that Eddie Jones made a couple of days ago, or mm -hmm. maybe a week ago or so, mm -hmm. is that he wants to rebuild the whole team, which for me is a negative statement. That's my personal view. Don't think that is... Uh, yeah. Yes, that's my personal view. So I think that's going to be difficult for him to do in a short time. That's 90 days. I think uh, that would be uh, suicide, in my opinion, mm -hmm. for rugby. Uh, but I'm actually going to make the, the prediction that... France is going to make it. And that's oh. a bold prediction. I think actually France is going to win next year's um, Six Nations event or the tournament. And I'm going to make it a, a bold prediction just because it's, it's going to be the youth that's going to rise up. Uh, every year we see in our Curry Cup in South Africa and we can also see it in the Waikato, uh, what do you call it, the TM, ITM uh, um, tournament in New Zealand. It's yeah. all where the youngsters going yeah. up playing very well and that's how the youngsters get into the, the top ranked teams and then of course international teams mm -hmm. and I think I, I, I'm just going to back France I don't know why I think if they're going to I think they're going to make it I think Wales of course has the best chance second and then I actually think England so I think I'm going to so France for the France for the Grand France. Slam for the Grand Slam or just the win just the win okay. I think I think if there is one team that can do the Grand Slam this the, the year that is or the uh, tournament that is coming up I think that's probably going to be England okay, if, if if they have that sorted out okay. that's but you're backing France I'm, I'm going to back France okay, I'm going to back France yeah because I, I read it earlier about the previous Grand Slams obviously Wales taking it in 2019 yes. Ireland taking it in 2018 I think England was 2016 and before that it was Wales again and then France so couple of Grand Slams in the last couple of times and it, it comes out of triple crown winners. Mm. So obviously you have to beat the big three. You have to, if you, if you, yeah, you have to beat Wales, you have to beat England, you have to beat Ireland and you have to beat France depending on who you are. Yes. Because <laughs> it obviously changes from who you are. Yes. So nobody's giving Italy a chance ever, which is bad, but uh, it is going to get there. I think that's going to be a matchup Italy-Scotland. We'll get to that video. Uh, we'll get to that point time when we get to that point yes. time. Um, I really want to go with England. And the Grand Slam England. Mm -hmm. um, I really, really want to lean towards that. But I think France is also going to take take the Six Nations. I don't think there is going to be a Grand Slam winner in 2020. Awesome. But if I had to back someone to win a Grand Slam, yes. I would go with England. That's that. That's in better words what I wanted to say. <laughs> say. So, so we didn't discuss it beforehand. No, this actually just true. happened that's in the fine. video. Um, but I think that's what we think and that's what we, we think is going to happen. With that, what do you guys think? Please drop your comment of who you think is going to win the Grand Slam, if there's going to be a winner. Yes. And who's going to win the Six Nations? Obviously, that's going to be. And when you answer the question, just scroll past the like button and press that like button for us. We'll appreciate that very, very much. Um, and then to surprise, you're going to get, we, got, we, we have for you. Uh, Safana is going to explain to you a bit what's going on there. So, yes. yeah. so, we're very excited, of course, we are two guys talking about rugby, very excited about the sport that we love and the the whole, um, uh, what do you call it, expansion of the game going into Asia and stuff like that. That's not the point, but I'm just emphasizing yeah. why we like rugby yeah. so much. But for this year's Six Nations event 2020, we are going to launch a competition, which is going to be very cool. So this is going to be a Super Brew 
pool competition. Now, if you don't know what Super Brew is, we'll just link it in the description below. Yeah. Uh, of, of this video, of course. Super Brew is a um, website where you can play a prediction game. So what what's going to happen is what we need from you to join our competition to enter actually is to join our Six Nation pool. It's going to be Rugby Four Days Six Nation. That will be the pool's name, and. When you enter, you are well. When you join the pool, you are automatically entered into the competition. Yeah. What's going to happen? It's going to be the the whole six tournament event, and whoever is going to predict the best, excuse me, whoever predicts the best and gets to the number one spot at the end of the Six Nations tournament, you will be the lucky winner. Now, yeah. what will you win? That's that's of course <laughs> the question. So uh, we discussed this, but we decided that would be up to you in the sense of a rugby replica jersey a team jersey so for example if you are a front supporter you can simply and you won the pool so that means you won a jersey of your choice that means you can get a france jersey for example we will not limit you to one jersey in the sense of the winner winner's jersey because maybe england wins and you're a wales supporter then we don't want to actually <laughs> give you the wrong you know, give you a stroke <laughs> while you're wearing that jersey so that that we will not do that so yeah. what's gonna happen is literally it's a cool competition be sure to enter our pool to join our pool and to predict with us it's a really cool prediction game you have to predict each and every game at an extent of how many points for example yeah. let's say England plays Wales and you want to back England England by how many points yeah. and then it's a whole log game so yeah, whoever yeah. yeah whoever is gonna gonna win the pool it will be the winner of a cool replica jersey of his choice of the six nation teams Okay, awesome. Yes, I think that was exciting. Uh, yes. I think that deserves a like button. If you already didn't like, leave the like. Please leave a like on that. Please comment if you think you're going to beat the Super Brew as well. Yes. That's not the question, but please comment as well. We read the comments, we want to interact with you guys, we want to get back to you guys. Yes. So this is community, and please remember to check out our rugby blog as well, rugbyfordays.com. It's easy to find, you can read our blogs there, what we think, comment there as well. We want to, we want to hear from you guys if you yes. like it. If you don't like it, why you disagree, please leave a like. And then we will see you guys next video. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.